Hello again, everybody, and welcome to this video lecture where we will be dealing with the strategic management and planning process. The literature on strategic management and planning can be a terminology minefield, as different organizations use the same terms to describe different phenomena. So let's start with the lecture. For the purpose of this session, strategic management is the ongoing planning, monitoring, analysis, and assessment of all that is necessary for an organization to meet its goals and objectives. Changes in the environment require organizations to constantly assess their strategies for success. The strategic management process therefore means defining the organization's strategy and is a process by which managers make a choice of a set of strategies for the organization that will enable it to achieve better performance. The term strategic management is used to denote a branch of government that is concerned with the development of strategic vision, setting out objectives, formulating and implementing strategies, and introducing corrective measures for the deviations, if any, to reach the organization's strategic intent. Strategic management is important to act as a guide to the organization to help in surviving the changes in the environment. The basic element of strategic management and planning is strategy, which is seen as a pattern of purpose, policies, programs, actions, decisions, or resource allocation that define what an organization is, what it does, why it does it, and can vary by level, function, and time frame. Strategic planning is a formal yet flexible process to determine where an organization is currently and where it should be in future. It has a long-term focus, five years or plus, and concentrates on developing strategies to deal with the issues that concern the basic direction, purpose, style, and values of an organization, or a country, or a government, or a region. The concern that planning should not stop where a vision of the future has emerged has led writers more recently to drop the term strategic planning and to adopt instead the phrase strategic management to emphasize the importance of the strategy implementation and strategy evaluation phases in addition to the strategy formulation or planning phase. There are six general steps involved in the strategic planning process, namely the formulation of a vision for the future, a situational analysis or environmental scanning, development of general goals, specific targets or objectives, Specification of tactical action strategies or strategy formulation, strategy implementation through operational plans, and an evaluation component. So let me tell you a bit more about each and every one of these steps. The formulation of a vision for the future defines the fundamental purpose of an organization, its mission, vision, values, and its boundaries. A situation analysis or environmental scanning includes a stakeholder analysis, which is an analysis of persons, groups, or organizations whose interests and concerns are of key importance to the overall strategic process. Environmental scanning refers to a process of collecting, scrutinizing, and providing information for strategic purposes. It helps in analyzing the internal and external factors influencing an organization. The environment must be scanned so as to determine development and forecast of factors that will influence organizational success. Environmental scanning refers to the possession and utilization of information about occasions, patterns, trends, and relationships within an organization's internal and external environment. It helps the managers to decide the future path of the organization. Scanning must identify the threats, and opportunities existing in the environment, and an organization must take advantage of the opportunities and minimize the threats. Development of general goals, specific targets or objectives, and performance measures. This step is necessary to estimate organizational progress and will involve forecasting developments inside and outside the institution and preparing scenarios of how to respond to them. Strategy formulation, 
This is the step where tactical action strategies will be formulated to indicate what will be done to accomplish the goals and objectives of the organization. It is the process of deciding best course of action for accomplishing organizational objectives and hence achieving organizational purpose. We will focus on ways in which this can be done next week. Strategy implementation. This would entail the implementation of detailed operational plans. Strategy implementation implies making the strategy work as it was intended or putting the organization's chosen strategy into action. Strategy implementation includes designing the organization structure, distributing resources, developing decision-making processes, and managing human resources. Excellently formulated strategies will fail if they are not properly implemented. Also, it is essential to note that strategy implementation is not possible unless there is stability between strategy and each organizational dimension, such as organizational structure, reward structure, and the resource allocation process. Strategy implementation poses a threat to many managers and employees in the organization, as new power relationships are predicted and achieved. New groups, whether it's formal as well as informal, are formed whose values, attitudes, beliefs, and concerns may not be known. Strategy evaluation. This is the evaluation step to monitor and revise the overall strategic approach, approach as it unfolds. Strategy evaluation is the final step of strategy management process. The key strategy evaluation activities are appraising the internal and external factors that are the root of present strategies, measuring performance, and taking remedial or corrective actions. Evaluation makes sure that the organizational strategy, as well as its implementation, meets the organizational objectives. Strategy evaluation is as significant as strategy formulation because it throws light on the efficiency and effectiveness of the comprehensive plans in achieving the desired results. The managers can also assess the appropriateness of the current strategy in today's dynamic world with socio-economic, political and technological innovations. The process of strategy evaluation consists of the following steps. Fixing benchmarks of performance, measuring the performance, analyzing deviations, and taking corrective actions. Just for interest sake, I've included this table just to show the difference between strategy formulation and strategy implementation. Um, you can go through it yourself, but just a few things that I want to highlight. We must remember that strategy formulation requires coordination among a few individuals, where strategy implementation requires coordination among many individuals. So strategy formulation requires a great deal of initiative and logical skills, while strategy implementation requires specific motivational and leadership traits. The strategy formulation is an innovative activity based on strategic decision making, where strategy implementation is mainly an administrative task based on strategic and operational decisions. So you can read through this table yourself. This was to just highlight the differences between strategy formulation and strategy implementation for you.